Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dolly's and welcome back to Age of Engineering. In the last episode, we were working on trying to get into Applied Energistics. Um, we were working with the inscriber and all that kind of stuff, doing some calculator stuff, and mostly forestry because forestry is what's going to allow us to get the circuit board so that we can actually make stuff. Um, so between episodes, I had a ton of time to kill. Um, I was making these pure fluids crystals, and these things take hours, literally hours. It's so much time. So as you can see, I was working on the base a little bit. Uh, so before we really do anything else, um, one, I had to make a couple new things for this. These are actually full, and it's it's filling up even more. I, I We have so many flawless diamonds and um, flawed diamonds, or whatever they're called. Uh, and that it, it's kind of crazy. So we're going to need to deal with that today. And let's see, I was building here. So I have a sandstone floor on the Actually Additions building. I think it looks really nice with the granite. Uh, nice contrast, that's kind of what I do. Uh, I went over in the distance one direction, I think that way, uh, and chopped down a mineral tree which is from Integrated Dynamics, and I really like the wood. Um, and it goes well with the laboratory blocks, so that's going to be the flooring there. Um, I've done a lot of work with the road and underneath. And one of the first things I want to kind of talk about today, actually, you know what, let's try to fix this first. Um, so I want to make a compacting drawer. Um, this is not that difficult to make. Uh, it does require a lot of reinforced iron, which I don't know if we have. Uh, but we'll see what we have available to us and all that kind of fun stuff. So we have a little bit there. We need iron ore for it. So we're going to need, let's see, four blocks, eight blocks, eight blocks of this stuff. Uh, so nine, 18 would be enough. I'll have to go get some more iron between episodes. Um, always having to go do more mining and that kind of stuff. Uh, by the way, the calculator stuff, uh, these circuits don't have a fourth type, the red and the blues. They only have three. Uh, so I just put some more stuff up here uh, just to kind of clear this out a little bit. And I don't think I want to have this stuff there. So what I'm going to do is I'll have to go grab my key. Uh, what is it we need for the reinforced iron? Is it the stone separator? So this guy. Uh, but something interesting that I did get, um, I actually got an algorithm separator from this, so that was kind of cool. Uh, so you can get some really rare stuff every once in a while. Uh, I haven't got any nether stars or anything like that, but that's something we'll deal with later. Um, we will have to automate killing the wither at some point uh, in this series. And so that's just something we'll get to. Uh, where is my key? Is it in here? It is. Alright, so... Um, we're going to go ahead and make some compacting drawers just to make this stuff a little bit better. And we might actually use some of these um, diamond blocks as like a, oh, something like a, uh, oh, whether a floor or something like that. We might actually do that just because why not? There's next to no reason not to. Um, just because it's super duper, well, fancy and we have a ton of it. So... Uh, we're going to need the reinforced iron. Anything else in this? Just some reinforced stone and a chest. That's not too bad. We're going to need some dense obsidian plates. So we're going to need uh, eight obsidian. And we can go block cut that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and here soon, I think I'm going to rework a little bit of power over here. We need to make a lot more power than we are. Um, this nuclear reactor is out, so this guy isn't really doing anything, uh, which is something I kind of need to get fixed, but we'll get there. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I have all of the stuff for, uh, integrated dynamics. We might get into that today, um, although I kind of doubt it, but something I want to talk about, uh, while we're processing this stuff is lighting. So we need to do something about lighting up our base. And um, both interior and exterior lights. And so something that's kind of cool looking is the lanterns from Immersive Engineering. Now I have two of them. Um, I think they're, they're pretty 
simple to make. You get three of them. We used one for a garden cloche, so we still had two left over. Um, but it's really just glowstone, iron, and uh, a little bit of glass. And you get three of them. They're pretty cheap and easy. And you can do some really cool stuff with them. They look really nice. Um, there's also powered lanterns that work a little bit better. Uh, but I don't think they're going to be necessary. Uh, now the other thing that I discovered is these Neotech Starlights. Um, so Ender.io has powered lights as well we could use. But those require power and I don't really want to do that. Same with the Powered Lantern. Um, while the Immersive Engineering Powered Lantern looks really cool, um, it does require power to work. Uh, so we don't really care about lighting because except for, you know, storms, uh, we don't really have to worry about mobs. And uh, uh, not surprisingly, uh, one of the biggest things that I've kind of discovered is there is a ton of caves underneath here. Um, I've tried to light them up a little bit as I can, but there, there's just a ton of caves underneath, and so we're going to have a lot of mobs spawning under us, but not really anything on the surface. Again, except for thunderstorms, which we can actually fix later. Um, but the, the little bit more difficult thing that we have to deal with is making this area look nice. So this is a pseudo building series because a lot of things are going to just take me a long time to kind of get process and whatnot um, a lot of things are really expensive and so I want to have lighting outside and I think I'm gonna go with the lanterns there is another lantern um, there are lanterns from calculator which I want to make one of those and just see what it looks like um, I want to make that on camera though so so you guys can see it too um, I don't think we can use the flawless calculator. We can use a dynamic calculator later, but we don't have one of those yet. We need a little bit more stuff. So it's just a torch and a piece of iron, and we get this lantern. And I've tried looking up stuff. There's also a gas-powered lantern. There's a gas lantern. They do different things, but that looks kind of cool. Um, it smokes, which is interesting, but, uh, it looks kind of cool. Uh, I'm not opposed to it. So, uh, exterior lighting is going to probably be the immersive engineering, I will be honest, just because of how it acts and how it kind of hooks onto the power poles, which we can just put around and it doesn't even matter if we have stuff attached to them, if we have wires or anything, uh, because we can... I mean, just, just this looks nice. And there's other types of posts, but uh, I don't think that works for anything. But yeah, you can change you can change how that looks. You can put it up if you rather have it on top. I don't remember what the buttons are. Uh, it does have this like you can do stuff like that and it looks really nice um, really can't do that with the, the calculator lanterns but what we could do is here's a doorway we could have we could have something where it like comes out maybe a, an iron bar would look nice uh, just to have something a little bit different on the actual, like, buildings. Um, now, eventually the buildings are going to be enclosed. So that's something else we're going to have to kind of worry about uh, lighting-wise. And that's something that's going to be actually important. Eh, that doesn't look good. Uh, so I'll kind of play around. Maybe we'll just use lanterns. Maybe we'll use these calculator lanterns. I don't know. Uh, but interior, I think what I like is these starlights from Neotech. Now, they are incredibly simple to make. Uh, you can make them in any color. Uh, it's just glowstone and a torch and that's all it is. It's just a little tiny thing and it lights up a decent area. Like if we hit F7 that's how much area it's lighting up. So what we can do is kind of hide those in the ceiling and I think that'd be really cool. So that's gonna be a long ways off but I wanted to just real quick talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, excuse me. 
Um, and it was a little bit stuffed up. Um, so let's grab this stuff. Uh, let's turn that off. We don't really need it. And I think I have a couple of chests lying around. We need two chests. All right, cool. So um, we're going to need some other things. We're going to need some iron, redstone, wood, stone. Let's just grab a stack of cobblestone. I think we're going to need a little bit of redstone and a little bit of iron. Uh, and we're going to make some compacting drawers. So why are compacting drawers good? Well, they allow you to make blocks of whatever item uh, fairly quickly and easily. And that is something I want. So there is that. We are going to need uh, some reinforced stone, which we might actually have. Yes, we do. So we make the reinforced chest. There's two of those. And then we're going to need two pistons each. And there's the two compacting drawers. So what we can do, oh, this is going to be a mess. Um, just break that. And we can just add all these guys back in. Uh, and what I can always do is make a upgrade. So this has 200 blocks of those um, diamonds in there. And we can just continue adding more. There we go, that's a little bit better. We can lock the drawers. And this should empty out relatively soon. Um, and we'll be good to go. So I'll probably want to make some upgrades for those, especially if I wanted to use them for the blocks. Uh, the flawless diamonds look really nice, but I don't know that we're going to use them much. Same with the weakened diamonds, they still look pretty cool. Um, but they're a little bit, I don't know, they're, they're a little weird looking. Um, so I don't know if we're going to use them for any building or whatnot, but we can. So that's the cool thing. Um, let's go ahead. I want to put these two things in there. And let's start working on uh, getting the ME controller. So that is the main thing that I want to kind of work on today. Uh, we're going to get the ME controller and we're going to get basically making pure crystals a lot more efficiently, a lot more quickly. That's the biggest thing. So we need an ME controller. So what do we need for an ME controller? We need an engineering processor. Pure crystals, which we have, and skystone blocks. Um, so we have this guy. We have everything we need. So let's go ahead and get this built. So actually, we can just do this. And there's the ME controller. So that is a huge step. So now what we can do is we can set up the ME controller. Let's grab some conduits. And for right now, I don't really care too much about making anything like super complicated or anything like that. I just want to make making the crystals a lot easier. So let's do it right here. And uh, we'll clean this up later and put it where we actually want it. So something like that. Um, we're gonna need more glass cables probably. And that won't connect, so we, this needs to be facing downwards. And let's see. Um, I don't know if the cables will connect too well, but what we can do is put the ME controller. Actually, all this stuff is going into my traveler sack. Uh, let's put this here, not there, here, and you know, let's put the, the traveler sack down for a little bit. Uh, so what we need to do, let's get some more ME glass cables. 
Uh, so I gotta remember how to make those. Let's see, it is, okay, it's a vanilla recipe. So surgery quartz dust, some glass, and then the, I know I have glass, they're in here, I don't have enough. Can I use quite clear glass? Don't really have much use of that uh, anyways. And we'll need some more flux crystals, but that's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Let's get three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Um, I want to say I also went mining at some point, but I don't remember if I did that. I don't remember when I did that. So, um, yeah, it's it's been a while since I've recorded this. I kind of missed a week. Uh, apologies for that. Um, just wasn't feeling up to it, not feeling too well. Um, but it's fine. I I'm back at this, so it's not like. There, there's sometimes I just kind of get sick feeling. I, if you can't tell right now, I have a little bit of a cold. And um, it's just weather, seasons, that kind of stuff. And so um, there's just sometimes I just do not feel capable of recording. Um, this takes a lot out of your voice. And uh, yeah, it's you got to kind of have a little bit of something to to be able to talk for this long uh, and so occasionally I just get uh, a day where I just I can't record but anyways enough of that um, let's put this stuff up here like so now these two need to be connected and I think does that work and then we can put the controller here and then Power lines like that. Online, 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 online. Perfect. So what we can do is we can make stuff like pure flux crystals incredibly quickly. So let's get like four of those, four of those, and four of these. And obviously I need to go get a lot more supplies, um, but this is just kind of demonstration. Um, this will make a good bit of flux. Um, we're going to take four more just so that we can get another controller if we want it. Um, we're going to want to have a decent setup with the controllers. We're going to want probably a good bit of channels. Um, but let's just throw all this stuff in here. And then what we can do is grind up two of these, grab some sand, and we can make some more seeds. So this took literally hours to do. And with five of these guys, we can just throw these in here, and they will go incredibly quickly. So this is something that we're gonna need to do for the pure surges more than anything else because if we want to make the calculation processors, um, we need refined circuit boards which require pure surges quartz. Uh, now this automation is gonna be kind of complex to do, but as you can see, it's pretty quick. Um, just that little bit of time took it to what? 32%. So it's a third of the way done. It still takes a couple minutes um, but it's not that bad. So, um, what does that mean? So basically we are going to need to set up an automation system to kind of automatically get this stuff. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use a combination of items. Um, but the main kind of thing that we're going to do, we're going to probably want uh, some sort of, we need something to pick up items. And we're gonna need something to kind of look at that item and tell us what it is. And so, yeah, these grow so quickly in, the, in there. Um, once this is done, I'm gonna actually break this. I'm probably gonna move this stuff somewhere else. Um, I need to day out a basement for this building uh, pretty badly, to be honest, because uh, that's where we're gonna have a lot of automation like this. So the plan is the controllers are going to go back in this room we will have, actually we might do it in this room, the auto processing, we'll see how much. Um, and then this room will probably be the, the trophy room eventually. But yeah, that's that's already done. 
So that took hours, hours of work, and it's done. So, not too bad. Um, so, what does that mean for us? Well, we need to kind of automate this, and I need to look at integrated dynamics. Uh, now, this is a very powerful mod, but it's also very complicated. Um, so we need two of these and a book, which we should have lying around somewhere. Um, I know I have a book. Uh, let's see. Very soon, we won't have to like search through all this stuff. Right? There's a book. And why do we want this book? Well, it tells you basically everything of this complex mod. Um, this is a very powerful mod, um, but it is kind of complex. So, um... Manual machines, we're going to need batteries, um, that's pretty easy. Uh, let's see, there's also, there's delays, there's, there's a lot of things. Um, so, oh, those, those biomes, okay. So we're going to need a bunch of things to kind of get started, but um, basically what this can do is we can set up um, a lot of operators and stuff like that uh, so that we can, basically what we're going to have is we're going to have a dropper that drops an item in here, and then we're going to look at the item. And when the item turns into the pure version of the, the crystals, um, we're going to activate a vacuum hopper or something like that. Um, alternatively, we could just use it. Actually, I don't even think we need to use that for that. Um, we'll kind of see, but it is something that we are probably going to want to get into eventually. Um, so making this book isn't that big of a deal. Uh, from here on out, I really don't know what I want to do with this episode. So if we look at kind of the things we need, we're going to need an ME drive. And this requires two engineering processors, which is two more basic circuit boards. We can actually get that going. Um, we're going to need a lot more inscribers. That's something we'll kind of have to start working towards. Um, so we have two of these. Uh, the problem that we're going to have automating these guys, by the way, is not filling up with a single item. So we're going to have to kind of see what's there. And that's going to be, that's kind of complicated. Um, plus the sideness of the... Uh, Carpenters is usually a pain. So what do we have? Nothing in there. All right, so we need the engineering processor, or press, rather. And we can put that in there with those. Um, we're going to need iron and redstone and a couple pieces of silicon. None of that's too bad. So let's get an ME drive. Uh, let's just grab a block of, a couple blocks of redstone. And we're going to just start making some of the stuff as best we can. Uh, but yeah, so we need an ME drive, and then we're going to need uh, 4K storage. Uh, I want to start with 4Ks. We'll get up to 64s later. Um, but that's going to require a calculation processor and three logics. So we're going to need a lot of circuits. Um, so that's something we're going to have to kind of deal with. And then we're going to need a crafting terminal. And for right now, that will be enough. So crafting terminal requires another calculation, another, and three more logics. So that's not terrible, but it's not great either. So we need calculation processors and a bunch of logics. I'll take the quartz glass. All right, so with that taken care of, we can make our first couple of things. So we're going to need what? Uh, for this guy, we are going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more circuits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we're going to need a good bit of gold, a little bit of iron, and... We'll have to kind of see what all we can get into. So, um, 
we have two carpenters over here. We're going to need uh, a third eventually. Let's just take a bunch of redstone. So one, two. Let's see, we're going to need half a stack of redstone ingots. Um, let's see, how many of those do we need? We're going to need one, two. And the calculation processors are refined circuit boards, which requires the greens. All right, so we'll need two of each of those. And my inventory is full. So I believe it was this on top. Um, stamp in the middle. And then like the scissors stuff on the bottom. So we'll make these no problem. And then we'll make the other ones the logic ones. And eventually I will get around to making another carpenter and we'll get those automated. It'll be great. So silicon press, we'll just start pressing silicon. Uh, and while we're kind of doing this, let's go ahead and get iron and glass cables. And there is the ME drive. So I'm going to go ahead and break that for right now. Like I said, I'm going to move this stuff. I just kind of want to demonstrate that I could do it. Um, and let's get, don't think we're going to need the flukes crystals. We might though. All right. So with that taken care of, we can just kind of continue making these. And then for the other six, we're going to need six more circuits, which is 12 gold. So there's those. Uh, and then what? It is the gray bubbly F and flat. We need two of these, two of these, two of those. All right, so let's get this taken care of. Uh, what's the order? Because these are used for, yes. Um, bubbly's in the middle, F's on the bottom. Okay, so we can go ahead and make, we're gonna need more circuits than this, I realize. And uh, we do have plenty of circuits, so that's not too much of a problem. Um, we're gonna need how many more? So two, we need three more of each. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So yeah, this is, well, something we're going to have to get used to, to be honest. Um, we're going to need to make a lot of these things, uh, especially if we want to make a halfway decent uh, applied logistics system. But uh, as we kind of progress and do a little bit more and a little bit more, uh, it'll get easier as we go. So let's just continue making silicon. Uh, and once we have our first 4K, we can just kind of start working towards a couple other things. So I'll need to make another carpenter, and I might need to start wiring things up. And that's something I want to look at. So if we look at the uses of these guys, there is a recipe um, somewhere, I believe. No. Uh, let's just go ahead and ME conduit um so there are uh any conduits which require some conduit binder and you can make these guys pretty easily and kind of the neat thing about them is uh they are wires like this so we're going to use mostly those for our system uh just because it's going to make things a lot easier um so for example, we can run ME conduits all over the base. And the only problem is that they have, you can't change the color of them so that uh, you do need to be careful about channels. Uh, that's something we'll get into as we kind of progress and make our base bigger. Um, but 
making these guys is not too bad. The conduit binder um, does require CF powder. We have plenty of small stones. Uh, clay and sand are easy enough. And just kind of making a large number of anything in this mod pack is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, but all in all, it should not be too bad. So let's start putting some stuff away. Uh, and we can start working towards getting what we need, which is all the stuff we kind of looked at. So we're going to need some service quartz. I know that much. And we're getting close. All right, so let's start kind of working on uh, the 4K. We're going to need two quartz glass. That's fine. With a third, we're going to need a lot of redstone. So one, two, three, one, two, three, three. And same with the surge quartz. So one more silicon, and then we'll be done with that. Uh, but yeah, we'll need five inscribers in total uh, to make automation. Um, we're going to need just a lot of different things. Um, so while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and start making crafting terminals. So we're going to need a crafting bench. That's probably the easiest thing. Um, we're going to need more quartz glass, which four glass with five of the dust. So we'll just put that right here. Get the quartz glass. And we're going to need to make a illuminated panel, which is two glowstone a redstone and an iron. Gotta keep going with the inscriber. Um, but yeah, eventually we'll have this automated and it'll be a lot better. Um, we also need to kind of improve our power. We'll have to upgrade that relatively soon. Uh, in order to upgrade this guy, it's gonna require a lot of uh, capacitors. We're also gonna need to upgrade our power bank with a lot more capacitors. Um, and so kind of before we get to that point, I want, we need two glowstone. Uh, I want to add um, more IC2 power so that we can start making more UU matter. Uh, so we'll make a big array, we'll make smart array, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna end up using all these illuminated panels, but not immediately. Uh, we only need the one for now. Uh, eventually we will make an interface panel and a um, pattern terminal I guess they're called terminals not panels uh, and once we have all that stuff then it'll be a little bit better but there's all that let's go ahead and start making the circuits so we can get rid of some of the stuff in our inventory we don't need the silicon press we don't need the logic we don't need the engineering and move things around a little bit so yeah these guys are not too bad we're gonna need quite a few but this will be our first little bit of digital storage now once we have I need more redstone uh, once we have a good bit of stuff like that um, we can start working towards getting actual like putting our items into digital storage and all that kind of fun stuff, but uh, we're still a little ways off from that. So this will make the third. We can start setting up for the 4K, which is these three with a piece of glass, redstone, and then it's gonna be a calculation circuit. And uh, the last thing we're gonna need is this. So we're gonna need two more glass. I think that's exactly how much we have. And three iron. I don't think we need any more iron than that. So a lot of crafting, a lot of waiting, but um, eventually we will kind of get all this process automated. Uh, and that, that will be a good day. Um, so one of the things i want to talk about real quick is we're gonna need more buildings there's a lot more buildings we need we need uh tinkers and um extra utilities those are two that come like right to mind uh and eventually we're gonna to want to 
um, just start powering everything underground. Now that's going to require a lot of uh, energetic alloy, which means a lot of gold, a lot of redstone, a lot of glowstone. Um, now we'll get to that point and we'll be able to make everything nice and neat and um, everything will look good. But this series is going to take a while. I want to kind of reiterate that. This is not going to be a quick series. If you're looking for someone who's more efficient, this is not the series to watch because I'm kind of intentionally not being efficient with this. Uh, this base is horribly inefficient um, because of the just the sheer level of space that I'm trying to work in. But there we go. We have an ME 4K storage. We can put that in there. But yeah, the fact that like my mob my mob farm is over there, well blaze spawners, but everything is gonna be kind of separated. And while that is uh it's gonna look cool and that's kind of why I did it, is because I know this is gonna be a long series regardless, so I want to make buildings and whatnot. Uh, I might actually live stream when I start getting into that, which that will be relatively soon. Um, I might actually start working on like the building on there and doing a lot of this like monotonous crafting. Anything new though will be in an episode. Um, so let's go ahead and make the crafting terminal. So we have this piece and let's see in order to make the crafting terminal we need a formation core and annihilation core so we need nether quartz and certus quartz plus two flux crystals ground up uh but yeah this is something that's going to take a while and like i said it's it's intended to um i'm not in a hurry to get this done in a sense uh just because well, uh, the, the whole point of the series is kind of to build as well. Um, so kind of something to point out, uh, by the way, is there is a sequel, sort of. There is another mod pack made by the same person uh, that made this one that uh, I do plan on playing eventually, but it'll be a while. So there is the Emmy Crafting Terminal. And there we go. So we have all the bases for a fairly simplistic applied energistic system. Uh, and so we kind of need to start working on getting it set up. Now, I'm going to take these mineral saplings and uh, we're going to go ahead and plant these. Just kind of wherever. Uh, you get a surprising amount of wood from these. Oh, by the way, there's one more area that I kind of decorated, and that's the tree farm. Uh, I just put a border around it so it looks nicer. Um, we can have a path going straight to it. It'll be great. Uh, so, I think that's going to be about it for today. We have Applied Energistics built up now. What's next? Well, we have some options. So, the big thing that we need to get into in order to kind of progress in the mod pack is getting titanium and chrome with Tech Reborn. Um, but I really want to kind of take my time getting there um, because there is a lot left to do. Uh, so I think what I'm going to work on between episodes is I'm going to try to get a good bit of um, wiring done. And I think what I want to do is next episode start automating some of the applied energistic stuff um not to the fact of like so when i say automating it um we're not quite to the point of automating it with applied energistics itself we're still gonna have to do it semi-manually but making the circuits um would be good uh and eventually what we'll have is we'll have a storage bus on the george controller that will then kind of pump the items that we want to here and um, then we can like we can have everything here and we'll have to make more machines probably um, or automate them or something and just a lot of stuff like that um, so if we can get some of that stuff kind of semi automated uh, I think it will be good enough um, and then we can kind of go from there so that's the plan 
um, we're going to start automating the applied energistics stuff without using applied energistics. And then we can go from there in the following episodes to actually, you know, automate it. Um, and we'll have a nice room here with stuff and everything. It'll be great. Um, and so that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!